Then I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself without a green screen. So stay tuned. everybody welcome back to another video it's been a while since I created any new content uh, my health condition been seeking my attention lately so I haven't been able to uh, create any new videos but now I'm uh, able to do so and uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a coloring effect uh, that you could incorporate uh, into your videos now as you can tell in the beginning uh, scene that I created I um, quite big anime fan and Naruto is uh, one of my all-time favorite animes to watch and I think I used that scene to kind of showcase what you would use this effect for and um, you know in order to do this effect you pretty much need to take a stationary shot of uh, you in different positions in the video so for instance in this video if I was going to create a corner for myself, I would record in the beginning of the video of me, you know, talking to you. And then later on, I would record me coming through uh, the doorway over here and waving at you. So um, that's pretty much how you would uh, take uh, video shots in order to create this effect. And then you would bring it into DaVinci and uh, do some editing to it. So let's stop thawing and get right onto the computer and uh, show you how it's done. Alright, uh, we already have a, a project created. And here's uh, the video I used to create the anime scene in the beginning. As you see here, this is just one continuous video. And it's the beginning of the video, I'm in this position. Then in the end of the video, I'm in this other position. So basically, you're going to just cut, uh, <laughs> cut your scene. Like. Right, right about here is when I throw the um, Rizangan at uh, that's your folks so you just cut it here and then you just go to your other scene which is just around here and you just cut this part and see around here cut out all the excess then we take this scene we put it over on your other scene now we don't need no Oreo on my clone video uh, but we could actually just delete that Now you run it through, see here is where, uh, you know, this other video begins. So how we could see uh, the other video behind it? So what we go is go to inspector, select the top video, go down to cropping, crop left a little bit. Here you go, you see me now in the shot as well. It will give you an idea if uh, the effect match or not. But as you see here, the line also cut out a little bit about my arms and uh, clone's arm as well. Which we got, I got to show you how to fix that a little bit. But let's match up the scenes first. Uh, here is where I'm about to create my Rizengan. So 
and then afterwards I uh, throw it at you. So it matched up pretty well. Uh, now what we could do is a way of fixing it. This uh, different ways of you know to do it. Uh, you could do it in the color tab, or you could do it in the fusion tab. The color tab is a uh, lot easier. It doesn't require any rendering. Uh, while if you do it in Fusion, uh, it would take some rendering time, and you know. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it in color. So you would just click on the color tab, and then you would select uh, this video here. Let's first let's cover it up. Let's let's undo the cropping. Now we just go into the color tab. Now you just gotta position yourself. Uh, let's see here. Like right here is where my arm is extended and everything like that. What you would do is um, let's create a new node. Because I already did some primary uh, color graying uh, to the video overall. So what you do is select a power window, select polygon, and you would just put that on on yourself uh, in the video, and then you would position. Uh, So like all the way up here is doesn't matter. More important is this, the points underneath here. Want to get it right. Uh, uh, like so, like here. And this goes out to here. Oh. We tighten this up a little bit. Because we want to give room for my hand under here. So, by tightening it up as much as you can. Make sure to add alpha output here on your last node. There we go. Now we look at it. Looks like, um,. So stay tuned in the shot. So I see over here is a little bit cut off at the end. Go back here. Like right when I was about to throw the resist the resin gun. Like right here. So what you do is um you go to you know just about here where it's starting to cut off you will zoom in you will cut it then you select this veil go into cutters again and you will adjust uh, this uh, power window a bit uh, let's check it out. Right, right here. Like so. Go back. Yeah, it's not being cut off now. Now you run it through. Complete scene. I'm going to show you how to clone yourself without a green screen. We show up. About to make the Rasengan. So stay tuned. And there you go. Nothing gets cut off. Everything is nice and clean. But that's how you would, you know, uh, clone yourself. Now, 
to add the uh, effect of the Rasengan and the uh, and the smoke puff in the beginning, you will need to of course apply green screen, which uh, I already done a video on how to apply green screen. I'll leave a link up in the corner for you to go check that video out on how to apply a green screen. But basically you could do it the same way. Uh, let's bring in the smoke. You'll put it in as a layer over here. Like halfway through. Here's a smoke video. And then you would just position it. Uh, no. Now, the smoke video has an oil track, which we don't even need. Actually, there's no oil, actually, just a puff of smoke. But we could leak that. But what you do is you select this video, and of course, you go to cutters. You know, you apply uh, an alpha output again. Select it. Click on qualifier. I like to use the 3D qualifier because and just invert it. Do some distill. Dispel. There we go. And that's uh, how you apply a green screen. Now, of course, you see here that the, the puff of smoke is a little bit off what you need to do is uh, apply a power window to just select this puff of smoke then when you will have some space to move it across a little bit so let's just highlight it real quick like so of you hit the puff of smoke there we go now what you could do is you would go back into your timeline again and then you would go up to your inspector and go into your properties and transform you would then move uh, the positioning of the smoke a little bit to the right over here so it looks like you know uh, the smoke pop and I appear so there we go there I am so that's how you would apply a green screen um, like I said I've done a video on how to apply green screen and that little bit that I did before is pretty much uh, what I would use to apply all my green screen effects so uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions, leave in the comment below and I will get back with you. You can subscribe to my channel, follow me on my, all my social medias, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, also, uh, TikTok, uh, which I recently uh, added. You can also follow me on that as well. And uh, click on the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. Everyone, have a great day, and I see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.